Hi foundation students, today we are doing uh, cylinder art. So all you'll need is a basic toilet roll cylinder, some scissors, a pencil, coloured paper if you have some. If you don't have coloured paper you can use just a magazine paper and a glue stick. So I'm going to make uh, an octopus today, just a basic octopus. So the first thing I need to do is I'm going to measure up my paper. I'm going to make my octopus orange. Orange is one of my favourite colours. So I'm going to start by holding the end of the paper and rolling it around my cylinder to have a bit of a guesstimate. So I put a bit of a line here so I know it takes this much to cover the round of my cylinder. So I'm going to cut a line along there. Then I'm going to line it up on the end, roll it again, and have a look where it is. And I'm going to say, okay, so where it opens up has to be this long. So I'll put a bit of a line here. Same thing again. Cut that bit off. Take my glue stick. Glue like a monster truck. Put my cylinder at one end, line it up. A bit like rolling a sushi roll. Roll it around. Here on the end I'm going to put Here on the end, I'm going to put a little bit more glue on the lip. And I'm put my thumb inside on both ends. And I'm going to rub across this line so it has a good grab so the glue sticks nice and solid. Okay, so there's the body of my octopus. Now I want to make his legs. So I'm going to use the same paper, leftover paper that I had, and I'm going to cut myself some long strips. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we want the end of our legs to curl up a bit. So take your the end of your strip and wrap it around a pencil. So hold it around a pencil and then roll it around that pencil. Almost to the end. Leave a bit that we can glue onto the bottom of it. Once you've done that and you've given it a good squeeze, count to five. One, two, three, four five and then unroll him a little bit and we're going to glue it up inside so a bit of glue on the end put it up put your finger inside again bend it a bit and there's his first leg so i'm going to go around and do all of that on the legs Okay, so I've got all my legs on for my octopus and now he needs a little face. So I'm going to take a small piece of white paper and I'm going to practice drawing those eyes that we worked on two weeks ago for household items. And I'm going to give him some friendly looking eyes because I want him to be a friendly octopus. You can make yours however you like, whatever sort of character you like. Now remember, this is just one example. If you look on the slideshow, there are lots of examples of how could you could use the cylinder to make uh, other characters, other animals. 
I'd love to see all the different ones that everyone comes up with. Okay. So I've got his eyes. They look like pretty happy eyes to me. Not cranky. I'll carefully cut around them. Notice that I spin the paper and not the scissors. Open the scissors a little bit to take to the next spot. Spin the paper. Slow and steady. Okay, put my eyes on, a bit of glue for my eyes. I like this side, so I'm gonna make this the front of him. And he needs a smile. Give him a nice big happy smile. There we go. Okay, and there we have it. Happy octopus. <laughs>